Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back once again to the Fat Cat Collections. Today, another boot review. Uh, now, guys, when I do these boot reviews, and these are cowboy boots or shoes or whatever I share with you guys, remember, most of the time when I share these products um, on the initial reviews or unboxings, um, you know, it's right when I get them. So I don't know as far as longevity. I don't know how these things are going to last. What I do do on a regular basis is I come back and rear view products. Most of the time, just so you guys know, if you guys have seen me review something and years have gone by and I haven't come back to it and given you guys an update, it's usually because I haven't had any problems with it. Generally, if I have an issue with something, I immediately come back and make a video about it to let the public know that, hey, this has happened. I hope it doesn't happen to somebody else. And just to, to let the buyer beware. Um, and sometimes you'll see that I put up videos uh, more often with that. And some... Our video, some of our videos like my hot tub, right? Right off the bat, people tell me it's gonna last six months, it's a piece of shit, blah, 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 right? Well, I like to come back and do those yearly reviews to let people know, yep, still working great, to let people know that, you know, don't listen to the haters and the snobs. There are snobs out there for almost every category. You're going to have watch snobs, cologne snobs, hot tub snobs, construction snobs. There's all kinds of things out there people are going to tell you that you shouldn't buy because of their experiences, right? The only thing, and I'm not saying don't take into account experience of people. You know, if you have a friend who had this brand number X, had nothing but problems with it, that's worth that's worth listening to. That, that's worth looking into and worth listening to. It doesn't mean you're going to have that same experience, you know. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind when I share this stuff with you guys. Um, you know, time always tells how things hold up, and I always come back and re-review it. And that's the beauty about YouTube. You get, you know, you'll always get fresh information. So today, uh, I, if you guys are brand new to this video and you haven't watched my other videos on cowboy boots, um, I don't have a huge collection of cowboy boots, but I'm starting to uh, add more to my collection, more shoes. I don't think cowboy boots is something that I'm gonna like. Some dudes like collect sneakers. Um, I don't foresee me collecting cowboy boots like I do watches or cologne, uh, but I do like cowboy boots. I do like having a nice assortment of clothing uh, in my in my wardrobe, and so cowboy boots is one of those things that I, I definitely I don't I'm not a sneaker guy. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with sneakers. Always do you, and I'll do me. But you know, I look at a lot of these Instagram models and these dudes on there, and I, I I never want you guys to think that I'm coming across as having the answers. Remember, you should always wear what you like. And I think if you like sneakers, wear what makes you happy. For me personally, I'm not just not a sneaker guy. I wear sneakers to work out and or go on a run, but that's about it. Um, I am a boot guy. Uh, so, and sometimes I'll wear a work boot. I have a pair of Doc Martens. Generally, I'm, I'm more of a cowboy boot guy. I just, uh, you know, even Chelsea boots. I have a few pairs, but I like the heel. I like the little bit of a lift you get with a cowboy boot. I just like the look. Uh, so... Again, when you watch these influencers, uh, and I, I'm not going to name any names, but I have to shake my head every time I see them talk about what guys of this age should wear, what guys of this age should wear, how to look, you know, and these guys who have huge followings, who are, are great looking guys, right? They, I mean, they keep, they have a great channel, they're, you know, they're doing everything great, but remember, you, you have to be you, right? And just because somebody tells you how you should shave your beard, doesn't mean it's how you should shave your beard, it's how they should they should, you know, comb their, everybody's hair is different. You know, for what, like, perfect example, for what some of these guys, these amazing head of hair, I don't have that hair. I, I never will. And so when I see guys with these, like, style advice, like, dude, that's not going to work for guys who are, you know, suffering with thin or thinning hair. Uh, you know, it, it, it's going to be totally different. So, again, just take into account uh, that fact and just remember you have to do things that are going to work best for you. Uh, and and don't let anybody tell you what you should or shouldn't do. Take advice, you know. Take inspiration from people. Uh, I think that you know YouTube influencers should be watched as as people to inspire you to find what you might like. It may be the exact same thing. It might be something completely different. It might open a door to something that they like better. So just kind of keep that in mind. Be nice to one another. Be respectful. Let people express themselves. Uh, it, it, it think you know. Imagine if the world's all the same. Like that's boring, right? So anyway, variety, spice of life, right? So today, I want to share with you guys a pair of Laredo boots. Uh, another pair here. Uh, here is the box. You guys know I never really get too involved in ripping away the packaging and showing you that. If you open one pair of shoes, uh, you've seen one, you've seen them all. So the boots that I want to share with you guys today, though, are these. Now, these are pretty nice-looking boots. And uh, this is a pair of boots that I am going to send back because I decided um, that... I, when it comes to shoes, I'm more of a, I, I like variety, don't get me wrong, but I'm more of a black shoe kind of guy. Um, now, I do have different colors. I do have some brown ankle boots. 
I have grays, I have whites, but I always tend to, like my default is kind of the black shoe, right? Uh, so they do make these in black and I feel like these will get a lot more use in black. And I can always get the brown at a later date if I decide that I'm, uh, I want the brown. Uh, but right now, again, I have two pairs of two shades of brown in a similar cowboy like ankle boot. Uh, different look, of, of course, but um, they don't get a lot of use. It's, it's a very specific outfit I'm going to wear when I wear a brown shoe. Uh, doesn't mean you can't wear them with anything, not saying that, but uh, I just I feel like the black will get more use. So, But let's check them out. So this one here is their uh, Laredo Men's Laramie Snip Toe. So the Snip Toe is my new favorite when it comes to shoes or cowboy boots. Um, I'll show you guys what a round toe looks like. So this is your, I would consider this more, this is Laredo, and this is a round toe boot. Um, I will say that I, you know, I am going to keep these. I do like the distressed gray, the waxed look, but I wish these were Snip Toe. Uh, my mom was like, oh, I love that. It's more traditional, and I, I like the traditional, but um, I, I gravitate more towards a little bit of the modern look. Uh, and I feel like this boot is a little bit more modern. I feel like if you match these up with some, uh, now I'm not saying you can get these under skinny jeans. That's the only downside to the cowboy boots. That if you are a skinny jean kind of guy, um, a lot of skinny jeans, you really need more of a relaxed fit, uh, not a skinny, skinny jean, because you just can't get the ankles uh, over the boots. So I tend to like ethanol jeans. Uh, they're kind of a cross between a, they're, they're more of a relaxed fit. They're still pretty slim at the bottom, but they stretch and you can pull them over most boots. Uh, so again, I will, you know, I, I haven't tried them on with these yet. Right now I'm wearing ethanol boot cut jeans and they're perfect. Uh, so I love these boots. Um, super nice quality. Um, I did read some of the reviews. They say these are pretty stiff. These are definitely a stiffer boot than some of the other Laredos that I've reviewed and checked out. But I wasn't planning on keeping these. Uh, I was like, let me just check them out. Maybe down the road I'll keep them. But I just love the design and they're very stylish. Um, I'm definitely going to get it in the black. So, so let's talk a little bit about the color options. So you get them in the black. This color is called Rust, and then you get them in the tan. Um, I thought the Rust was going to be kind of cool because it has like that kind of distressed kind of look. You can see from the sides, it's kind of worn. Um, you have kind of this leather interlacing with perforations with the holes on the top, which kind of give a really interesting look to the top of the boot. You have that theme going around the sides of the boot. Uh, just a killer look. Um, you know, by the time I make this video, who knows? I haven't tried this on with different color jeans. I've only tried it on the blue, and I was like, you know, when I wear blue, I usually always wear black shoes. Um, I'm going to try it on with different colors and see. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up keeping them. Price on these is pretty reasonable. You're looking at $160. Right now, the black is on sale, which uh, I have these on order with Amazon uh, Wardrobe. These were part of Wardrobe. If you're not familiar with Wardrobe, it allows you to basically order things that are part of Wardrobe. They send them to you. They don't bill you. You have seven days to decide. At the end of seven days, they'll charge you for all of it. As long as you log in and select what you're going to keep and then return, uh, you only get charged for what you keep. Uh, when you do select keep, it's got to charge you instantly. So uh, pretty awesome service. It's great to be able to, especially in COVID times, it's great to be able to try this stuff on at home, figure out what you want. You know, when you go into a store and, and try stuff on, you can't mix and match different outfits. All you can try on is what they have in the store and what you uh, wore in there. So it's great to be able to do this at your home and really be able to make a decision. Uh, very cool looking boot. I've been all over Amazon looking for boots, and I haven't seen anything quite like this. Uh, so they are 100% leather. Uh, they are imported. It says rubber sole. Uh, it says here, it says uh, Western boot featuring tonal stitching and dual pull loops. That's on top. And of course, you have your uh, pointed snip toe and a cushioned insole. Uh, one of the things on these boots is they have their hinged cushion insole with dual density EVA cushioned footbed with rebounding gel pillows at the strike points, uh, soft, br soft breathable footbed uh, for that ah uh, feel, and of course, uh, hinge. Uh, the sport shank for stability and protection. Uh, rubber outsole, which is, I believe, the entire bottom and the entire sole itself is rubber. Um, I'll tell you, I have boots that are leather. Nothing wrong with the leather. I'll still buy them, but uh, in the rain, eventually they do absorb the water. It takes a long time being in the rain, but uh, rubber, this is super durable. Like, this is almost like something you find on the bottom of, like, like a truck tire. Uh, very durable. I can see these lasting a very long time. And I'll tell you guys, when you go looking, if you've never worn cowboy boots, um, you know, airway style is different, but they are, it's almost like 
every cowboy boot you get from a, a, a reliable manufacturer like Laredo, um, they just hold up. Now again, I, I've had other brands, but I've had cowboy boots by many different brands, and just when you're in that cowboy category, that real cowboy boot style, um, they just hold up. I, now I've had cowboy boots that are more like the ankle boot, more the eBay specials. You're paying about 40 bucks of those, and I'll tell you, they don't hold up like something like this. You can just feel the difference in quality. Like these feel very tough. So uh, pretty killer. And right now the black are on sale for 130. So let me just show you guys what they look like on the foot. Uh, and that's again, I do these videos because a lot of times when I'm looking for something, you just can't find dudes reviewing certain things. And it's great to be able to see what it looks like on the person. It really gives you an idea of what it might look like on you. Now I am about five foot seven. Uh, so boots are great. They give me a little bit extra lift. Um, I would say, a boot like this is going to boost you, man, it's going to boost you up um, about two inches. So that's pretty awesome. And if you're a guy, again, you know, I mean, I don't, let me just, let me just be clear on something. I really like everything about myself, but there are things that, uh, you know, you, you work on, right? Your body, you can work on, you can eat right, you can work out, you can make changes, you know, your, your lifestyle choice, you can stop drinking, you can do those kind of things, right? But there's some things you just can't change. Height is one you can't. So I like my height. I'm very happy. But the 5'9 would be like the perfect height. You know, again, it's not something where I walk around. I'm like, oh, I wish I was taller. I really don't think about it, honestly. But um, I think just having a little extra height if you're not a tall dude, um, you know, the grass is always greener. Um, you know, I, I have friends who are, you know, you know, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, like, oh, I wish I wasn't so tall. You know, like you're always... People are going to go back and forth, but um, I think 5'7 is, is an average height, probably a little bit on the shorter side. My mom and dad are pretty short. I'm lucky I got that. Uh, so I don't have any complaints whatsoever, but nice that I can get a little extra height uh, bringing up the 5'9. So that's pretty cool, right? So if that's an option, an issue for you, definitely consider cowboy boots. Uh, and these, I got to tell you, when you put them on, it's like putting on just a super comfortable athletic shoe. Um, now, I'm not going to say that these are going to feel like your Air Force Ones, but but they're pretty comfortable. There is kind of like a pillow-like effect with these Laredo boots um, with this cushion technology that I haven't really felt in other shoes. Now, I'm not sponsored by Laredo. These are all things that I purchased uh, or are going to purchase. Uh, hopefully, one day Laredo reaches out, but Laredo is a pretty big company. Uh, you know, there's guys who are in the industry and rodeo and that kind of stuff where those are kind of, I think, the guys they gravitate more towards. But even if you're not a cowboy and you're not into, you know, that kind of lifestyle and stuff, you know, cowboy boots are awesome. And I think that if you give them a chance, you really like them. I like how versatile cowboy boots are. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with, with dress style slacks. Um, you know, they're they're fantastic. And they just hold up. I mean, the cowboy boots are super durable. Even if you buy brands that are, um, you know, I'm not saying like the eBay specials that are all synthetic, uh, super thin soles where they're more of a hybrid between a cowboy boot. They look like a cowboy boot, but they're not. They're still nice too, but I tell you, 40 bucks for those, and I tell you, I wear out the heels on those things in six months. With something like this, you can just feel the quality difference. So, uh, and the price isn't much more. I know it's like you know three times as much, but it's that's not like we're not talking like 10,000 versus 30,000. You know, like. 40 bucks versus 140 bucks. It's not insane. So let's check them out, guys. You can get an idea what it looks like. Uh, again, I'm 5'7", now 5'9", with these bad boys. And this will give you guys an idea of what they look like uh, on the foot. So let me just adjust my camera here. And you guys know I'm pretty informal when I do these videos. Um, I just want to give you guys an idea what they're going to look like on the guy. Pretty cool. I mean, the, I love the pointed toe on these. Um, again, you know, you're going to find round toe. And let me just show you guys. You can see these are two round toe boots I have by Laredo. And one is a little bit pointier, this, the patent snakeskin. Uh, these are a lot wider. They're more like... And I think maybe just because the boot... When I look top down, it doesn't look like it's like a, like a wider cut. It just looks like it's a wider toe. So I'm not a huge fan of the super round toe. I'm going to keep them anyway because they were a really good deal, about $89. Bucks. Uh, but... This is more of the look I'd prefer. When you wear a boot that has more of a toe like this, it's more of a, I would say it's more decorative, you know, it's more flashy. And if you're a guy who likes uh, flashy things, then this might be the nice toe for you. Um, again, um, this is my first pair of, of um, snip toe boots. And I will tell you that this is definitely something that when I look for other boots, 
that I'm going to look for uh, when I make a purchase. Um, so let me let me let me know what you guys think of the brown. I mean, the brown's pretty killer as well, but I just feel like the black will get more use. I'm kind of torn because. They're really nice looking as well. Uh, so I don't know. I have seven days to decide. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up keeping them. Uh, they really are great looking shoes. And super comfortable, folks. I mean, just super comfortable. You get that awesome, not really embroidery, but that stitching on top. Really kicks them up where they, they look like more like a, like a high-end. Uh, and I say that loosely because we all know high-end really means this high-priced but when you look at like some of the uh, like dress shoes, you know, uh, just very, I don't know, maybe I'm not making sense on that, but they just have a really dressy kind of look to them. Um, gosh, I don't know. These are, these are pretty nice, folks. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Let me know what you guys think. Drop me a comment. Uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. As always, I'm here to help you guys. Um, as always, oh, sorry, man, I hurt my back and it's just killing me. Uh, as you guys know, link is in the description of every single video. My email address is in the description of every single video. If you guys, any, you guys have any questions whatsoever, drop me a comment. You can find me on Instagram. Send me a message. I always get back to any question you guys have as far as any of these products is concerned. Remember, time will tell on how these things last. Um, I can tell you these feel super nice. And the crazy thing about shoes is that I've had, even with same brands, like I've had Laredo's, which feel like, oh, they're, they're pretty nice. And then you have this, these here, which are, they feel super nice. So, and I don't mean as far as the comfort, I mean as far as the construction, these feel really durable. Whereas like my other Laredo's, uh, really nice as well, but you know, like the leather on this just feels tougher. And I think we associate uh, when leather is like stiff and tough, or, or stiff that it's, it's more durable and that's not necessarily the case but uh, these are pretty cool too if you haven't checked out my video on these check that out but I uh, man when I first got these I tried them on I was like yeah I'm probably gonna send those back but now hitting them again I'm just like man I don't know so anyway guys if I can help you anyway drop me a comment drop me an email subscribe to the channel do click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video and uh, drop me a comment you know I love hearing if this these videos are helpful I love getting constructive criticism as long as you guys are nice uh, you know we have idiots out there who are like oh you, you know you don't let people comment uh, if you have constructive critic criticism that's helpful to myself and other people it's more than welcome as long as you're nice about it if you're going to be a prick and say Lorena boots suck or Invicta sucks like your comments aren't going to get aren't going to get approved plain and simple you can be nice you can you, you're just a, a place where you can you know state your opinions uh, but you know so you, as long as you're respectful professional and nice about it so uh, and I'm always here to help guys so have a great evening and you guys take care